Fucking Conan, man. Of all things, Conan. It's actually a pretty damn good game, though, aside from being a miserable pile of shit. Um, yeah, so King Difficulty is a kind of a lame name, if you ask me, for a difficulty, but that's what it's called, and it's locked when you first start playing the game if you don't have any save data. And I'm, okay, I'm playing on the PS3, guys. Um, it's available for the Xbox 360 as well. And it's a mandatory install that you're faced with when you first uh, put the game in. At least that's what I saw. The game was installing itself. And I recently, if you were watching my, my God of War 1 guide that I still have running now on the channel, um, you may have heard me mention that I, I stuck in an SSD into my PlayStation 3. And did you see that? For this enemy here, there is no repost. You just parry him and you get a parry kill. Uh, this is actually a late game enemy that you're introduced with in this first of uh, 14 missions here, guys. And you'll probably not really remember this enemy too much because it's at the beginning of a really long campaign and then at the end you face this enemy again. Um, but you will see the, the incredible uh, parries starting in the next video um, and I'm not saying that sarcastically it's amazing how many parries there are and just what they they actually animated and created for the parries because there's there's so many of them and they're they're they're, they're beautiful and um, really gory and, and just brutal at the same time um, but like I mentioned um, I'm sorry for these tutorials. I wanted to take them off, but the game wouldn't um, provide me any options. Anyway, um, I need to I need to mention someone who um, I was going to mention anyway if I, I did the guide. Um, he was following my uh, God of War one no upgrade run, and he mentioned Conan, and I, I think I, I think it was him that was mentioning it on my YouTube videos. I know he was mentioning it on Twitter. I'm not sure if somebody else was mentioning it. I think it was the same guy. Um, but I basically said, you know, Conan's a, Conan is shit. And it, it kind of is at the same time, though it's... I, I'm still having fun with it, but um, I went on to uh, YouTube and I did a search for the review for this game and I actually saw one of his comments on there and, and uh, just... It was nothing that he did to to try to like get me to play the game, but um, I, I just remember him saying, you know, Conan is is pretty decent. You might want to give it another look, um, and I did. I, I've played this game before, but the guy's name is Grayson uh, Geis. I believe that's how to pronounce his name. And uh, check him out on Twitter. He actually has more followers than I do, as most people do. Um, another Perry killer. Another Perry kill here. But yeah, Grayson Geis, um, he's a really good guy, uh, a nice, uh, from what I can tell, a nice guy, and uh, um, from what I also can tell, a good supporter of the channel. Um, sorry guys, I was just outside and it's actually snowing over here, so I was freezing cold, but yeah, thank you Grayson for um, not really anything that you did directly, but um, just for, you know, telling me that this game might be worth a second look. And uh, this is my second look because I m remember buying it in like 2012 or 2013 and, uh, and just sending it back before I even cleared the next mission. Um, but King difficulty, did I mention that? You have to beat hard difficulty to unlock King. You might as well, um, well, I mean, if they're not even going to give you a choice, even if you had a choice, I would still try to, I mean, if you're trying to, beat it on king difficulty if you can't beat hard then you'll never be king you know what i mean so you might as well try um well don't try it because you don't want to go through like normal and and you know trying to unlock uh, king difficulty and, and not have it do it so i went through um hard difficulty to unlock king and it was un unlocked and everything is good and basically you're going to take more damage i believe i th i there's not much info about this game. All the info that you try to search for, you come up with Conan O'Brien, obviously. But um, 
yeah, it's it's obvious. It's a God of War clone. It's obvious, but it's a game. It's an actual game. I'm ha I'm having fun playing this because I like to play games, and uh, for some reason developers aren't making games anymore. Um, there's there's a couple like two, maybe three every year. Maybe that's stretching. Maybe two a year. Um, but yeah, games aren't being made anymore, and it's kind of sad that. Um, something like this would bring someone so much joy, but it's it's giving me some joy, some frustration too. But the frustration is not for like the usual things like shitty checkpoints. This game has beautiful checkpoints, absolutely beautiful checkpoints, like thoughtful checkpoints. I was shocked how good the checkpoints are in this game. Like for instance, the final boss is an irritating final boss. And I'm going to talk about the final boss a lot because I don't understand a lot of people saying that it's hard because it's a boss in seven phases and they give you six checkpoints. Um, and it's a fair fight. I mean, some of the other bosses are much harder than the final boss. But anyway, guys, um, this is just the tutorial mission here. I think we've got one more fight to do down here. Um, so, okay, we're, we're gonna, I just wanted to give my impressions in this video, guys. In the next video, I'll go over the classes of weapons and things like that. Um, from what I can tell, they, they don't let you, like, play on New Game Plus, going from difficulty to difficulty. And one of the reasons I also mentioned that I had this game installed on an SSD is because the, um, well, to me, the, lo the loading times are long, longish. Um, I thought they were about 45 seconds. Maybe some of them were 45 seconds, but I think it was just by impatience, like making them longer than they actually were. Because I don't like, I don't like loading at all. Um, I try to play games that don't have loading, but um, this game has kind of iffy loading, and I'm going to talk about that in the next video, guys. Um, but I, I believe it's actually like. 20 to 25 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and that's kind of unacceptable when the game is installed to an SSD, but, you know, and, you know the system wasn't made for that anyway, I just put it in there because I, I wanted to test it, and it's, it's not faster, it gives me hardly any benefits, but anyway guys, that's the tutorial mission, I will see you in mission 2 of 14, take care.